Okay, so I've got my software defined radio fired up here. And I've discovered something brand new called end of train digital signals. Um, forgive the handheld camera here. I've been having some trouble with my on screen recorder, so I'm using my handheld camera. But uh, what I've got here is it tuned to uh, this frequency you see here. And I've uh, discovered by doing a little research online that this frequency is for the EOT transmission. And uh, found by further research that this particular uh, piece of software, EOT monitor, is used to decode it. Um, and <laughs> as I was remarking to someone earlier, um, you know, I was scanning the radio earlier in the week discovered this signal, had no idea what it was, went to an online forum and started asking around if anyone knew what it was. Someone suggested that it might be an EOT signal, and so I immediately wanted to see if I could uh, decode it in some way, and it reminds me of buying a lot of expensive gear to go on a safari to kill an animal that you don't have any idea what to do with after you've gotten it. So uh, here I am. I found out, I found out what the signal is. I discovered how to decode it. And lo and behold, what you get is the time of the transmission, the unit ID, which I assume is uh, whatever caboose or train that the unit is mounted on, the status of the battery, which in this case is okay, the pressure at the end of the train, and uh, whether or not it's in motion. Yes, yes, we got one no here. Marker battery, marker light, and whatever the BCH valid is. Um, a little bit of... Uh, uh, Quick discussion here. Um, this is exactly this is a Wikipedia page that tells you about uh, what an end of train device is, is or ETD or e EOT, and it's also called a flashing rear end device or a FRED, and um, it gives you a pretty good breakdown about what what it is and what exactly it's used for. And found another section for the Florida East Coast train um, chasers. And here it gives all of the frequencies for what it is that we're listening to and decoding. So 452.9375 megahertz is the head of train transponder. Um, and 457.9375 is the end of, end, of train, end of train transponder. So there is that. And we'll bring back up our decoder. Um, Again, <laughs> I, I just do this because I'm interested in anytime I can find a signal out there for some way to decode it. I'm interested in doing that, but um, you know, it, and unless you're a, a, a train spotter, a train lover, I'm not really sure, you know, how much how much more interesting this would be for someone else. I, I imagine this would be pretty useful if you're out trying to, uh, you know, if you're train spotter and you like to photograph or just view trains as they come, this probably would alert you as to what's happening or if your favorite train is heading your way. Anyway, just for posterity's sake, hope you enjoy.